Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're here, we have an Audi A4 that's here for a no start. And I've gotten the car inside the shop. The first thing I found was this connector was not all the way on the starter. So, and, but the secondary lock is pushed in. So what we're gonna do right now is push that secondary lock back so we can get the connector all the way on the starter and see if it will then crank. If someone else put this starter on and while the connector is kind of beat up. So now that should go on all the way and click. So let's see if it'll do that. But no, it does not. Now, the terminal in there doesn't seem to be damaged, but the connector housing will not go all the way on. But the connector is kind of beat up and broken, so we're going to go ahead and remove that secondary lock for the moment. We're probably going to have to replace the connector housing entirely. But still, it's not going on all the way. Now, another thing we might have going on here that's preventing it is the uh, rubber seal inside the connector might be swollen to the point that it won't go. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that as well. Because again, like I've already said, we're probably gonna have to have a new connector. So we're gonna get that out of there and get the seal out of here so it's just a bare connector now still it doesn't seem to be locking and in fact it is still not going on all the way. So at this point, the next thing we're gonna do is take this bore scope and look inside the connector housing and see if it's damaged. I mean, inside the start, that is. So if we look inside, whoops, we can see the terminal in there. It looks like it might be kind of bent. So 
So we're gonna to try to straighten out that terminal. Because a lot of times people try to do this kind of stuff and uh, they try to force things. They're just gonna end up damaging it. Now, that goes on all the way. So again, what we've seen was that connector was damaged and the terminal inside was bent. So now what we're gonna do is let this car down and see if it starts. So we're all the way down low enough to start the car. We're gonna go ahead and try. So so far what we do know is that someone else had already put in, put a starter on this car and they damaged the connector housing going onto the starter because the secondary lock was broken and uh, the rubber seal seemed to be a little bit swollen. So we're definitely gonna have to have a connector housing, but also the terminal inside the starter was a little bent. So let's see if that's really all it was. So then, apparently that is all there was. So that's diagnosing a car that won't start after someone else had put a starter on. So make sure just because someone has already done a repair that they did it right even if it was you that did the repair you may have messed something up you're always going to have to go back and double check if it's doing something different now than it was doing before something may have gotten done wrong whether you did it or someone else did it happens anyway thanks for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe leave me a comment of what you've been diagnosing here lately and i'll see you next time